Now the latest on the egg recall. The Food and Drug Administration said today no salmonella has been found on any other farms besides the two already named in Iowa. But investigators now think the disease might have come from outside those facilities. Steve Handelsman has the latest. Job one today is finding all the sources of the salmonella. The doctors figure sent 16-month Eva Jones to an Iowa hospital. An extreme bout of diarrhea. Eva's all better, but salmonella has sickened more than 1,000 Americans. Two outfits in Iowa, Wright County Eggs and Hillendale Farms, are linked to the outbreak. So far, no other facilities. But the Food and Drug Administration fears that feed or chicks brought to the farms from the outside brought salmonella. We may see some additional sort of sub recalls uh, over the next couple days, maybe even weeks, as we better understand the sort of network of distribution of these eggs that are potentially contaminated. At the center of the investigation is Jack DeCoster, a big egg producer with a bad reputation, labeled an habitual violator by the state of Iowa for pollution offenses, fined for animal cruelty. DeCoster's firm says all issues were addressed. Jack DeCoster supplied chicken and feed to Wright County Eggs and Hillendale Farms. As seen in this FDA video, the Obama administration put stricter egg rules into effect in July, requiring hens to be certified salmonella free, eggs to be kept colder and be tested more. But the crackdown came too late to stop the current salmonella outbreak. The FDA is asking the Senate for authority to routinely send inspectors to egg farms, which right now the FDA doesn't do. The House green-lighted that last year in a food bill that's now stuck here in Congress. From Capitol Hill, I'm Steve Handelsman. 2 News works for you. Thank you, Steve. According to state health officials, there are no confirmed salmonella cases related to the recall here in Oklahoma, although we are one of the states that received.